welcome my channel Bulox Mathematics. First of all, I introduce myself. My name is Bulox Singh. As far as my qualification is concerned, I passed MSc from Utpal University in 1999 and also completed MPhil from Utpal University in 2000. So, last 25 years, I am gathering more experience of teaching of plus two and plus three students. So now. I start my topic integrations. So write out integration. Integration. Today we discussing about a new chapter that is integration. Integration is the reverse process of differentiation. Integration is otherwise called as primitive. Integration is otherwise called as antiderivative. Integration is the process by means of which we have to find a function whose derivative is given. If fx is the derivative of gx, then gx is called as antiderivative of fx. This can be written mathematically as d dx of d dx of gx gx plus c is equal to f of x. So dx multiplied there d of gx plus c is equal to f of x into dx. So integrating on both sides, integrating, integrating on both sides. So we get integration of d of gx plus c is equal to integration of fx dx. So derivative integration, they neutralizes to each other, we get gx plus c. That is integration of fx dx. So you remember, so you remember that Integral of fx dx is equal to gx plus c. So where c is called the integrating constant. C is called c is called integrating integrating constant. C is called as integration constant. Okay? So you remember, integration is otherwise called as primitive or antiderivative. So now we have to find some formulas related to integration. So write down some formulas. First of all, we are discussing about x to the power n dx. x to the power n dx integration. So that is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. So here xn is the derivative is given. Our aim is to find out the function. Here it is the derivative. Our aim is to find out the function. Whose derivative is x to the power n? So the answer is x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Provided, provided n not equal to minus 1. So this is one formula for integration. First formula, n may be positive integer, negative integer or factor. Except n not equal to minus 1. So using this formula, we have to Integrate some algebraic functions. So now one example. <coughs> Integration of x dx. Here power is of x is 1. So n is 1. So using this formula we get x to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus c. So that is x to the power 2 by 2 plus c. So Integration of x dx is equal to s square by 2 plus c. Now another example is root over of x 
dx. So here this can be written as x to the power half dx. L is here half. So we get using this formula x to the power half plus 1 by half plus 1 plus c. So we get x to the power 3 by 2. This can be written as a 2 by 3 plus c. Okay? Next, another example is integration of dx by x to the power 1 by 2. So that can be written as x to the power minus half dx. Anything here minus half. So we get x to the power minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 plus c. So after simplification we get x to the power half divided by half plus c. So that we get 2 root over of x plus c. Okay. So using this first formula we have to integrate the algebraic functions like x, x square, x cube, dot, x to the power 100, etc, etc. So understand? Next, we have to discuss some formulas regarding the integrations. So write down, second formula, second formula is integration of sin x dx. So it is given as a derivative, whose derivative is sin x. So we get that is cos x minus cos x plus c. So it is derivative here given. Here it is derivative given. Our objective is to find function whose derivative is sin x. So remember integration of sin x dx is equal to minus cos x plus c. Then problem number 3. Integration of cos x dx. So here it is the derivative is given. Our aim is to find a function. So whose derivative is cos x? That is sin x plus c. So you remember integration of cos x dx is equal to sin x plus c. So again formula number 4. Integration of sex square x dx. Here it is given derivative. Whose derivative is sex square x? Now that is tan x plus c. Tan x plus c. So you remember integration of sex square x dx is equal to tan x plus c. Next formula, find Integration of cos x square x dx. So here it is derivative given. Whose derivative is cos x square x? That means minus cot x plus c. So you remember integration of cos x square x dx sum up minus cot x plus c. So formula number 6 integration of sec x into tan x dx. Derivative is given here. Whose derivative is sec x tan x? That is, that is sec x plus c. So you remember integration of sec x plus tan x is equal to sec x plus c. Next formula number 7. Integration of cosec x into cot x dx. So here it is derivative. Derivative is given. Derivative is given. So whose derivative is cosec x cot x? So that means minus cosec x plus c. So you remember integration of cosec x cot x dx is equal to minus cosec x plus c. Formula number 8. Integration of sec x. Sec x. What is the integration of sec x? You have to find out the function to the derivative is in sec x. That is ln sec x plus tan x plus c. Okay? So this is the formula. Integration of sec x dx is equal to ln sec x 
plus 10x plus c. Again, formula number 8, 9. So, cosec x dx. So, here it is the derivative is given. Who the derivative is cosec x? That means ln cosec x minus dot x plus c. So, you remember integration of cosec x dx sum on ln cosec x minus dot x plus c. Next, formula number 10. Formula number 10. Formula number 10, integration of tan x dx. Derivative is given here, tan x. Who the derivative is tan x? So, the answer is ln sec x plus c. So, you remember, integration of tan x dx is equal to ln sec x plus c. Next, formula number 11. Integration of cot x dx. So, here it is derivative given. Whose derivative is cot x? Now, ln sin x plus c. Okay? Next, formula number 12. Integration of e to the power x dx. If an function whose derivative is e to the power x. That means is equal to e to the power x plus c. So you remember integration of e to the power x dx equal to e to the power x plus c. Formula number 30. Integration of a to the power x dx. Here it is the derivative given. Our aim is to find out the function. So that is a to the power x by ln a plus c. Understand? So we get formula number 40. Integration of dx by 1 plus x square. So whose derivative is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square? That is tan inverse x plus. So you remember integral of dx upon 1 plus x square is equal to tan inverse x plus c. 15. Integration of dx upon root over of 1 minus x square. So here it is derivative given. So our aim is to find out the function. Who the derivative is equal to 1 by 1 minus x square root over. That is sin inverse x plus c. So you remember integral of dx upon 1 minus s square root over is equal to sin inverse x. Next, problem number 60. Integral of dx by x into x square minus 1. So, given function whose derivative is equal to 1 upon x equal to s square minus 1 root over. That is, say inverse x. Say inverse x plus c. So, you remember integral of dx upon x whole into x square minus 1 root over is equal to sec inverse x plus c. Next formula, 17. Integral of dx by x whose derivative is equal to 1 by x. That is ln x plus c. Okay? So these are the very fundamental formulas. Using this formula, we have to solve different type of integration given. So, now today I end my class. Thank you all for watching my TV. Please share and subscribe my channels, Vlogs Mathematics.